This segment of Healthy Living is brought to you by Seven Seas. By now, we all know that the main form of transmission of COVID-19 is through respiratory droplets of an infected person. Dr. Kyle Habet of the Belize Institute of Neuroscience explains why these tiny droplets that we can't see make passing on the virus so easy. The very tiny particles that you and I emit when we speak. Now, these particles, because they're very tiny, they can travel up to six feet and they're invisible. Now, not, not only are they, do they infect surfaces, but they can also transmit directly. So, for example, if you are in close contact with a person that is not wearing a mask and has, that is infected with COVID-19, one of these tiny little droplets that you can't see can possibly make its way onto your face, to your lips, into your eyes, and the, and the virus is transmitted that easily. And then secondly, on surfaces, which also are invisible, you can't see the virus on surfaces, if you don't practice proper hand hygiene and you touch an infected surface and forget about it, you can easily then put your hand in your mouth or rub your eyes and the virus can be transmitted like that. So that's the reason why it seems so easy to get it. Since the government lifted the countrywide state of emergency, we've all been adapting to life in a pandemic, even as the virus continues to spread within the country. Recently, the World Health Organization offered three easy-to-follow rules to help you avoid becoming infected. They call it avoiding the three C's. These include the high-risk settings for transmission. The first is to avoid crowded places. The reason why you'll want to avoid crowded places to begin with is because, as we mentioned, there is that six-foot radius that these respiratory droplets can travel. So if you are in a situation where you can't maintain that six-foot that six foot distance from someone, then that is going to be a high-risk environment for 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 catching the virus. Avoid close contact settings. This is not necessarily crowded places. What this refers to is if you are in a room and there's only six people, these six people are not people that you live with. Let's say you work in a small office, for example. If you work in a small office and there's six people that you don't live with, you're, what you're going to want to avoid is you're going to want to avoid shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact in the workplace with these, with, with these people that are not in your, in your bubble at home because that is going to increase your risk for contracting the virus from an asymptomatic carrier. Dr. Habet stresses that you should avoid close contact even with people who appear healthy, as they can be asymptomatic or they may not have yet developed symptoms but still can pass on the virus. Avoid confined and enclosed spaces. Even though we know a lot about the transmission of the virus, it is the information is still incomplete. So what you... What, they rec what we recommend is to be in outdoor spaces with proper ventilation as opposed to an enclosed space with poor ventilation because even though the mode of transmission is mainly through respiratory droplets, there, it is theorized that it could possibly be airborne to a very small degree. Mm -hmm. So to minimize the risk of, of contracting it via the airborne route, it's preferred to just have proper ventilation in a... In, in a when you go mm -hmm. outside, for example, the three C's are all related to avoiding situations in which you are in close contact with the biggest threat, which is an infected person. Mm -hmm. And be cautious even with your close friends and loved ones. Exactly. And then, as I said, if you are healthy, the reason why you're wearing your mask is to be socially responsible. But the main line of defense is always going to be to making to practice disin disinfect surfaces. If you go to the grocery store, for example, and you bring in um, you bring in groceries to disinfect the surfaces and regularly be disinfecting your hands and the surfaces in your house. That is that is your first line defense as a healthy individual. Avoiding all the three C's will reduce your risk of exposure. It does not, though, replace all the other public health advice we have gotten so far. If I wear the mask, then I'm not technically protecting myself. So I wear the mask. But the way to think about it is those around you need to have on their mask to protect you. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you just look at it from a different point of view, it's going to be a little bit better accepted because that's the human nature of people. They tend to think about themselves before they think about others. <laughs> it's very easy to get a false sense of security when you have on your mask that you're protected. But if there is an infected surface, 
that someone coughed on that has a virus and you touch it and then you rub your eyes, you're going to you're going to infect yourself with the virus. So if you are a healthy individual that does not have COVID-19, what you're going to want to do is avoid those those public spaces and wash your hands because that's going to be your first line of defense against COVID-19. Masks, social distancing, frequent hand washing, and avoiding the three C's all work well together. And they work best when everyone in the community does the same. This segment of Healthy Living was brought to you by 7 C's.